Okay, so, COVID-19. Now, for anybody watching this, this wasn't a planned lesson for the reflexology course today. However, because it's so prevalent, and there are so many people talking about it, this is what we're going to discuss. And my wonderful students have agreed that they're quite happy for their voices to be on this, because they're going to be asking me questions which are going to be really relevant to you guys. So, COVID-19. What a pain in the arse. <laughs> Let's be honest. There is a potential that it's going to affect our businesses. And it really might. Because if there is a pandemic locally with it, say throughout the course of the day, and I'm not wishing this by the way, but say throughout the course of the day, we are then informed that there are 100 cases or 1,000 cases in Folkestone. Service-based businesses, which is what we provide as therapists, are going to have to shut down. So for anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Rachel Davenport, and not only do I teach therapists or people to become therapists with high-tech qualifications, I also mentor therapists in their businesses. And this is a really important conversation today. So, what we need to look at with COVID-19 is how can we keep our businesses running if we're told we need to shut them down? You know, we are hand, face-to-face, customer-based service businesses. We exchange time for money. And if we're told we can't see clients because of a pandemic, we need to know how we can then create an income. But not just that. Just because we can't see the clients doesn't mean they don't need our help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need to know how we can still help the people that need our help without physically touching them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And there is only one way of doing that. And that is on love. So, how can we, online, still exchange time for money? By giving advice and advice service. Can you expand on that, Anona? Well, say for instance, you would have a regular client who suffers from, uh, say, anxiety in mm -hmm. you providing regular treatments. Mm -hmm. um, to use online mm -hmm. to uh, basically continue to give them advice or also to ensure how they are. Okay. So say for instance, if they have come to you for treatment every fortnight uh, and they really had good results with that and suddenly that's gone, then I think it's important that you carry on having this communication with them by seeing how they are and um, perhaps coming up with ideas how to ensure that they self-treat at home to, to keep their yes. anxiety yes. and their symptoms at bay. Self-treat at home. Yes, that's a really good uh, point because we already give them, if they come to us, we already give them a little bit of the hunger work. So you absolutely. Help. So you know, when you remind them, yes. or you know, to give them, you know, show them maybe like you know, I don't know, call or something if they are, don't know mm -hmm. how to do it. Yep. Or send them a link or something. So yeah. there are several things. This is the key one: self treatment at home. Mm -hmm. We can facilitate that. So, what we're looking at with self-treatment at home, we know, especially for our regular clients, we know that they come to us for treatment. They come to us because they feel good. They come to us because they know that when they leave, their life is just a little bit better. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, if we can use things like Skype, Zoom, 
which for anybody that doesn't know Zoom, Zoom is actually free online. It's a video calling service, but it's a video recording service. So you can actually record videos for your clients. And you can actually have one-to-one -one interaction with your clients on that service. And if it's under 45 minutes, it's free. Okay? So, using Skype and Zoom, you can still create a treatment plan. Mm -hmm. Now, whether you are a reflexologist, as these lovely guys are, or a massage therapist, or a counsellor, talking therapists is much, much easier. Because talking therapists, quite a lot of them do already use Skype or Zoom and those sorts of programmes. And you can literally just move your business online. Whereas manual therapists, most of them are too scared to even do a video to put on Facebook. So it's about getting out of your own way and providing the service at a distance. So for instance, with reflexology specifically, oh, oh, I have to excuse my writing. You could do online consultations. You can then create a video of a hand, very basic hand reflexology routine that you can then send to that client. So that client has got that video to go over and over and over. And they can do that treatment on themselves daily if they wish to. But also coming back to the Skype or Zoom, would you be able to use that kind of technology when you're saying, you know, you're inviting them on self-treatment mm -hmm. to do a hand reflexology there and then? Because yep. yes. while you're communicating, yes. they're actually going to tell you something about the symptoms they're suffering yes. at the moment. Yep. So the one you might have taped prior might you be wouldn't, You wouldn't tape it prior. Them. Right, okay. You wouldn't tape it prior. Taping prior would be like a generalised thing. Right, okay. You would record it afterwards, based on their requirements. Mm -hmm. What you could do on the call would be to talk them through, show them the different techniques. So the thumb walking, the finger walking, and the hooking. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you could sit there on the call with them and get them to practice those techniques. So that when you then send them the video through, they're then prepared and they know how to use those techniques. And you can also, on the video call, give them some points that they can start working with right away while they are waiting for that video to come through. That so you basically would uh, create a routine while yes. you were having the conversation with them, go through the routine, and then record it afterwards for them. That would depend how comfortable you are with it. So what they're not going to want to do is rewatch the whole consultation process no. again, which is why I say send the video separately. Okay. But what you can do on the call, you can go through a routine with them on the call and then record it separately and send it to them. Right, okay. But also, it depends how confident you are. So say you've done the consultation and you're thinking to yourself, I don't know which systems really I want support with then you then go away and do a bit of research before creating that particular routine. Because what you've got to bear in mind is it's got to be simple. Uh -huh. That's very important yeah. because if it's very complicated, yeah. they're just not going to do it. Right. And it has to be probably short, isn't it? Yes, so they can short and simple. So, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Okay? Really important to keep it simple. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, it's the same, for example, the other day I was just advising, you know, people, you know, so much as therapists mm -hmm. to do like, you know, the exercises and you always tell them, because um, the people usually mm -hmm. don't do it enough. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely, like, and that's the thing with my Just do it a couple of songs. Yes. songs. Put two, yeah. two songs and then you yeah. do them and then just giving them the incentive because that's if it's exactly. too long, they're not going to do it. That's exactly it. Where home care advice is concerned, a lot of clients or some clients, not, not many of my clients, because I don't have clients that aren't in it for their own self-care. Mm -hmm. The clients that you will get for this 
are people who really are in it to help themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is also a really great way of giving the ownership of help back to the client. Yes. Not, not just a case of they come to see you, they feel better, they go away, they start to feel a bit shit again in a few weeks and they come back. It's constant yeah. self-care. And that is exactly what we're looking at here, is self-care. You're teaching people how to self-treat and how to self-care. Now, if you're a massage therapist, bear in mind this here is for one-to-one -one clients, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, the self-treatment, where you're working either with Skype or Zoom, there are other applications out there as well, but these are the two that I know quite well, you would, with reflexology or with massage, or any other hands-on treatment, one-to-one -one with a client, do your consultation, and then create an online video of something they can do for themselves. So for instance, if you're a massage therapist, and you work clinically with people who have tight muscles, those sorts of things, you can create a video around uh, using a foam roller, mm. using specific stretches, using the bands. You can create videos based on your consultation specifically for those things and not once have you physically put your hands on a person. So you are still working with a time for money business but you are working with it in such a way that your business can work online, you can make money, and not worry about that face-to-face, hands-on contact with a client. So it will be, uh, Dr. Lugas, it will be similar to the reflexology. You'll do a consultation. Yep, do your consultation, yes. get all of the information so you know exactly how best you would treat a client. Mm -hmm. But instead of you physically putting your hands on the client, you're giving them the tools to be able to do it for themselves. Mm -hmm. And you charge for that. You're still providing a service, mm -hmm. a service that they can't provide for themselves. And it's unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe by the end of this video, and people have watched it, we might find we're flooded with it. But it's unique. You know? Because it's tailored to the individual. Because it's tailored to the individual. The other thing that you can do, which takes it from one to one clients, is you can do one to many. I'm going to use a few pens, that was right now. One to many. And that is where you can create tailored routines. So, again, specifically talking reflexology initially, you can create a reflexology hand routine for people who suffer with anxiety to help with the symptoms of the anxiety. You can create a hand routine. So, on video. So you've got anxiety. Which, when the world is panic stricken and there's a lot of fear, this is a biggie. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Menopause. Shoulder pain. And these will all help treat the symptoms of, and that's a key term, by the way. When you're advertising this, you are treating, not the condition specifically, but you are treating the symptoms of. We are not here to diagnose. We are not here to fix people. We're not medical professionals. What we do, as any form of hands-on therapist, is treat the symptoms of, okay? Now, there are lots of talking therapists out there who are qualified to diagnose. And at which point, that's great. 
But again, talking therapists, when you come to the one-to-many, you can create videos specifically depending on what your therapy is. You can create videos specifically for anxiety, uh, specifically for, <coughs> say you're a hypnotherapist and you do EFT, emotional freedom technique. You can create tapping videos for all of these things and many, many more. You are not limited, you just have to think outside the box. This is a really important conversation, very few people are having it. And the reason people aren't having it is because they're scared. They're scared for their businesses, they're worried that if they talk about it, it's going to inflame the fear and exacerbate the fear. This conversation today is about bringing us all back down to earth and showing us we don't have anything to be scared of because we're flipping excellent therapists. Every single one of you is a kick-ass therapist, including my students here. Okay? So this is for anybody who is a therapist, whether a talking therapist or a manual therapist, who has a concern around COVID-19 and your business. And this is free, by the way. So, any other things that you guys could create a routine video for? You mean uh, specifically to a symptoms or? Symptoms of a condition, yeah, symptoms, yeah, absolutely. So you might do a video specifically to help target hot flushes, mm -hmm. which is a symptom of menopause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the shoulder yeah. pain definitely. Shoulder, shoulder pain is really prevalent. Pain. It's really prevalent. Yeah. For anybody who doesn't know much about reflexology, reflexology is amazing for helping alleviate pain in musculoskeletal conditions. Absolutely phenomenal for it. Hmm. As we all know, not every treatment suits every person. And so it's about finding what's right for your client. Mm -hmm. And then one specifically which could fall under uh, mm -hmm. anxiety menopause yep. is uh, trouble sleeping. Sleeping, yeah. sleeping is a huge one. It's a one. huge one. And reflexology is amazing to help you sleep. Mm. Now, the other thing that you can do, if you are any sort of therapist, but you are very experienced with or qualified in any form of meditation work, mm -hmm. you can create meditations and guided visualizations. Now, the one thing you will need for this, ideally, is a website, but you can create a really, really simple website, okay? And most websites, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, you can set it up, it doesn't cost a lot in the first year usually, but you create it all for free and then you can upgrade it to a premium one so you can put your own domain name on there. And what you can do is you can have all of these as downloadable files. Or even if you've just got a Facebook page. So the different ways that you can sell that, that one to many, is you can have a Facebook page. You can have an Instagram page. You can have a website. You can have LinkedIn. What you can do with these, even if you don't have a website, is if you've got that file on your computer and you've got a means of taking payment, so payments, you've got bank transfer, so banks, you've got cash, Paypal, although cash is a difficult one because you're not face to face and you don't really want people posting it to you. So Paypal, PayPal. PayPal yeah. is the key. All you need is a PayPal account and you can create PayPal links. Now what I will do later on is create a video on how to create PayPal links even if you don't have a website. It's dead easy, but the first time I tried to do it, it took me hours to figure out. So I'll do a five minute video so that you can then do it yourself, but it has to be a business PayPal account. Mm. 
and it takes minutes to set one up. Okay? But it does have to be a business account. Mm -hmm. And anybody interested in your services, they can contact you, you can send them the link for payment, and then you have your online what's it. So you can arrange the date and time, and then say this is provisionally booked, here's the payment link. Mm. That's for the one-to-one. -one. When you're doing the one-to-many, it's pre-recorded stuff. So because it's pre-recorded, you can have the link, they can send you the payment, you can then email them the file. Mm -hmm. And if you've got something like Facebook, or Instagram, or LinkedIn, and you don't have a website, you can use any of the clouds. Google Docs is a really good one for holding that information, and you can password protect. Password protect, so that not just anybody can access it. And then once you get the payment, so once you've received the payment, you then send the link. And you can just have that same link, or those same links, on your phone. You can run this from your phone. You can record it on your phone. You can upload it to Google Docs on your phone. You can run your social media on your phone. Most websites, Wix, you can't adapt on your phone. But most websites you can adapt on your phone. I know Wix doesn't, I've got Wix. Bit of a source book. Great website developer, but you can't adapt it on your phone yet. Mm -hmm. Use Google Docs and upload it there. So you don't have to have all of the fancy technology. You don't have to have a Kajabi account, I've got one. I use it a lot, it's amazing. You don't even need to know what Kajabi is. That's like running online courses and stuff and membership groups. That's what I use for my Gaming Heights of Grace membership group and I've just set it up for the Gaming Heights of Grace program as well. Mm -hmm. Which starts next week, by the way. Little plug. But you don't have to do that. You can just have a social media page. If you're not comfortable with Facebook and Instagram, use LinkedIn. Because the people who are going to be really stressed are the people who have to commute. Mm. You know? LinkedIn is amazing business to business. You are in contact with thousands of professionals. And what's really amazing about all this you take your business from being a local service based business. Global. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're looking at pricing for these things, your one to one clients, you can just charge full price. You can. I don't know anybody that will. Mm. So, full price, you mean like. You, you obviously, you're not going to charge them the same that if you are giving them a reflexology treatment. You can. You can charge full price. However, what mm -hmm. I would do, so the pricing, so pricing for the one-to-one, -one, obviously you've got your consultation. Let's be honest, it's not going to be a 15 minute consultation, is it? Mm -hmm. No. You're getting used to new technology. You're trying to read somebody on the other side of the computer screen rather than reading them, those, those subtle nuances that you can pick up face to face, like that foot tapping, that sort of stuff. You're not going to see that. And so you're going to have to ask more questions. Okay? So let's say we allow 30 minutes. For the consultation. But that 30 minutes would also include techniques. Okay. You mean um, techniques?
techniques uh, to show them how to do the the finger like so specifically for reflexology that would be finger and thumb walking and the yeah. hooking yeah. okay really when we're going simple we are only looking at finger thumb walking and hooking that's all you want to be teaching them okay because anything over that is too much it's too overwhelming so remember keep it simple stupid kiss okay mm. so okay. consultation techniques and a couple of points to get started Okay, that will take about 30 to 45 minutes. Now, the reason we wouldn't charge full price, we haven't used any products, we haven't got any towels or sheets to wash, we haven't got uh, to use any anti back I mean, you don't even have to wash your hands, don't advise that, because obviously we should all be washing our hands like this, normally. I wash my hands about 30 times a day, and that's just normal. Uh, that's partly due to the amount of clients I see as well. But you should only be taking about 30 to 45 minutes. I guarantee you, the first one's going to take about an hour and a half. But that's because you're getting used to it, okay? So because you don't have all of those extra bits to do, your overheads are next to nothing. If you have a fixed rent, obviously you still get your fixed rent to pay. But we can get on to that in a minute, okay? But your overheads are practically nothing. So you can charge a lot less. So if you want to, you can charge 50% of your normal rate. So if your normal rate is 40 pounds, you can charge 20 pounds for that. But I would do that as an introductory offer. Okay? That 50% off, I would do as an introductory offer. because you are creating a bespoke treatment for that client. And then in two weeks time or a month's time when you do it again, you're gonna be creating another treatment for them. And so I would then say that 50% off for say two months, get people used to it. As much as you're gonna be scared of the technology, so are your clients. People need to get used to it, so you need to give them an incentive to come in. That's why you do 50% off. I would then, just do 25% off. So I would charge regularly 30 pounds for that. Now, I'm going to have some people watching this who go, what do you mean you're gonna charge 30 for that? That's what I charge to see people in person. You're too cheap. You're not valuing yourself. And you can't earn a proper living if you're only charging £30 for somebody coming to see you. You can't. You have to work like a dog to earn a proper living from that. I know some people will disagree. That's fine. We all have our own opinions. But that's my perspective. I've seen people in the street who charge a little amount and I've seen them then give up because they've not been able to earn a living from it. Yeah. It's because they're charging too less. I would rather see 10 clients a week at £40 and earn £400 than have to see 20 clients a week to earn the same money. You burn yourself out. Okay? Slightly off piste, whole other subject, there'll be another video. So, for your 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, you charge half price. And you can advertise that. This is how you can access the help without having to come in, if you're worried about coming in, or if you have a cold. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel well enough to come in, if you're concerned or your immune system is compromised, or if the worst comes to the worst and our whole industry is shut down for a period of time, for health and safety reasons. You know, just heard that schools in Madrid have been shut, Madrid's not special, doesn't mean it can't happen here. And I'm not trying to scare my up, I'm trying to prepare you. Is this making sense, ladies? Yep. Yeah? So this is the one-to-one, -one, okay? Now, the one-to-many is a potential gold mine.
one to many. You have pre-recorded pre-recorded videos which you can sell for £15 a time. If you've got 10 people buy that for the sake of you sending a payment link, or if you've got a website, obviously the payment link's already there. And it's downloadable from that website. Or the website can give you the link to Google Docs or whatever, but that payment link's already there. Even if you don't have a website and you're just running it through social media or in your, you know, your email list, you send them the payment link, they make the payment, you get notification of that, you then send them the video. You've earned 15 pounds. 10 people do that, that's 150 pounds you wouldn't have had. That 150 pounds is totally worth the hour that it's taking you to record that video. I say hour, might even be an hour and a half. So the first time you do it, I guarantee you're gonna fuck it up, okay? Don't worry about it being perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. People don't expect perfection, they just want help, mm -hmm. all right? But if you get 100 people in a month mm. who purchase this, it's 1,500 pounds. You've earned your wages for the month just by creating a pre-recorded video. Mm. If you've got 10 different videos, and you sell a hundred each of those, mm. that's 15,000 pounds mm. for creating 10 different videos for 10 hours out of your time and five minutes each time you need to send a link. As therapists, we do not need to panic. We just need to think outside the box. Yeah. Any questions on COVID-19? Mm. Any other suggestions of what we could do? Anything I haven't thought of? No, I think the online thing is probably the best way to do it because anything as you come into contact with the person, the face to face uh, is obviously not an option. So I think the only way really to do it would be online. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, online is the way to go. One to one. Consultations, give them techniques. So, if you're a talking therapist and I refer to the EFT again, it's just an easy one off the top of my head, um, or if you're a breathwork specialist or whatever kind of talking therapist, there are always tips and things that you give people to go off and do. Yeah? You give them those. You give them those tips and you teach them the techniques. So, if you're a breathwork specialist, you're going to sit there and spend some time working on breathwork with them so they can use your technique effectively. If you're a reflexologist, you're going to show them specific uh, uh, specific techniques, the thumb walking, the finger walking, the hooking, and you're going to then give them those and give them a couple of points. If you consider really that if people have to, I mean, it's obviously in a scenario if everybody has to self-isolate, mm -hmm. and so uh, what can you do? Self-isolation means being at home, so they will spend an awful lot of time online. If we have to self-isolate, anybody who has to self-isolate, the only connection they have with the outside world is online and their food delivery driver. That's it, you know? And he's not going to watch me for a hug, is he? Let's be honest. Or she. Maybe she. So, one-to-one. -one. Do the consultation, give them the teach them the techniques, and then give them some of the advice, some of the, some of the tools that they can use. Then, create a personalised video for them, for those techniques, for that specific thing, for them based on their requirements, okay? Then, one to many, create pre-recorded videos for numerous amounts of things. We've discussed anxiety, we've discussed sleep, we've discussed menopause, we've discussed musculoskeletal conditions, pain, that sort of thing. Another really good one's phobias, not so much for you guys, but certainly for the talking therapists. Especially with this going on, phobias for a talking therapist is going to be huge. And all you've got to do is either add it to your website or 
send a payment link, and then send the link to the video. That's it. And you can be at home earning for 100 people buying your video a month, you could be earning £1,500. You don't want to be doing 100 one-to-ones in a month. You can do, but you don't really want to be doing 100 one-to-ones in a month to earn £2,000. That's a lot harder work than the one-to-many. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes, particularly because you can actually create, say, you specialise in three menopause, anxiety, shoulder pain, and concentrate on those and um, mm. create um, a video around those kind of problems, symptoms. That's it. Look at your specialism, target those people. Now, I am creating a course around this. I'm going to create a course which can guide you through how to set all of this up. How to market it, how to earn money from it. And that's going to be available with the, it'll be live training over a period of at least two, maybe four weeks. But I'm going to be creating a course around this because it's really, really important. Or I will include it in the Gaining Clients with Grace which starts next week. So the Gaining Clients of Grace that starts next week is £497, but anybody who watches this video can get it for £397. And do you know what? I'm going to include all of this COVID-19 protocol in that course. So where it's supposed to be a four-week online course, I'm going to make it a six-week online course. Live, delivered, no extra cost. I'm not going to charge any extra for that because this is so important. And I will teach you not only how to market your business as a face-to-face -face service based business, but I'll teach you how to market it as an online course, as an online business. Mm -hmm. If you've got any questions about that, give me a shout, pop me a DM.